guys, Tatiana Ward here with BeatFaceHoney.com and thank you so much for joining me. So before you even begin to say it, I know that this looks insane. It looks kind of ridiculous actually. But um, this is my Rihanna inspired Where Have You Been makeup tutorial. And the gold that you're seeing here is not throughout the whole video. First you'll see me do the eyes and then you'll see me add this touch. Um, but Rihanna did do the video for where have you been and at the very end she's wearing the crosses and the dollar sign like graffiti on her face however this is an alternative to that that you can purchase inexpensively and comes out really 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 cool on camera so uh, I've done photo shoots where I've used this before and it just really looks amazing with certain lighting and um I couldn't find dollar signs or anything, so I decided that I would give this a go. So if you guys care to learn how I did this spiky eyebrow and all this jazz on my eye, then I hope you'll stay tuned to learn how I did it. Normally I like to draw in my eyebrows really, really thick and dark. However, this time I'm going to go a little bit lighter because... Rihanna seems to have more of a natural brow minus the spikes. I'm going to use the same pencil that I always do. This is a MAC eyebrow pencil in the color of Spiked. And I'm just making small strokes to fill out my eyebrow and also extending it. And now that the eyebrow is filled in, I'm going to move on to the spikes that Rihanna has in her eyebrow. You can see these little spiky things. Um, it's something that you can do for Halloween if you want to make somebody into a cat without going like extreme. You can put these little spikes on their eyebrows and it kind of makes them look cat-like. So to accomplish that, I'm going to use a black pencil. This is NYX's pencil. It's just a black eyeliner pencil. I'm making the middle one slightly longer than the first one and the last one slightly shorter than the middle one. So there we have our spikes. And now I'm going to take that product that Kim Kardashian's makeup artist Mario Dedevanovic made for her. It is called I Am Glam and it's by and produced by a company called Giella. You can get that at Giella.com. And this is just giving the flesh-colored shininess that Rihanna has on her lid. And there you have it. There's some shine to that now. Now we're going to move right into the very hot pink that Rihanna has on her eyelid. I'm going to use this very, very hot pink from Makeup Forever. It can be used as an eyeshadow or a blush. I've worked that onto a flat, rounded brush just so I can pack that color onto my eyelid. And I'm just patting that on to my lid, working it upward into the crease also. Now I'm going to take a palette from Wet n Wild. And it's actually quite a mess of a palette because the color broke and it shattered all over the place and ruined the other sh eyeshadows. But whatever, all I care about is the one in the middle anyway. This is a palette called I'm Getting Sunburned. And I'm going to use this very dark brown. I've put some of that color onto my finger. And I'm just going to overlap it into our pink, just kind of blending it in there. And then I'm going to move it outwards. And you see, I'm kind of making a mess of it right now. Just doing the whole thing with my finger. Okay, now that we've completely made a mess of it, I'm going to take this. It's a pencil brush, a very fine pointed brush. And I'm just cleaning up that edge where I place down my sloppiness and I'm slightly carrying that over into the pink. Before I clean that up I'm going to take care of this dark shading that you see right in here. I'm going to take this color from MAC. It's called Wedge. I'm taking this angled brush and I'm just going to trace that natural contour that my face has. This shape right here. And now to clean up and make sense of this mess, I'm just going to take a wet wipe that's wrapped around my finger and I'm just going to pull, making a clean, sharp line. And now for the gold 
glitter on the inside, which Rihanna doesn't really have glitter on the inside of her eyes. She's got more of a, it's kind of more like a product like Giella that we put on as our highlight, but I don't have anything like that in gold, so I'm just going to use glitter. I'm using NYX's glitter eyeliner. You can see I just put some of that onto the back of my hand, and I'm going to take a brush, um, just a round brush, and I'm just going to spread that from my inner eye outward in between that dark shadow that we made and above the pink. And you see it makes for that really pretty shimmer. Now I'm going to move on to concealer. I'm just going to put that Studio Finish MAC product below my eye, just spreading that out with my finger and working it down to the ball of my cheek and outward. And using the remainder of that Wet n Wild color, whatever's left on my pencil brush here, I'm just going to run that under my eye on the lower lash line. I'm going to use the same pencil to line the inside of my eye that I did to make the spikes in my eyebrow. And Rihanna doesn't appear to be wearing any eyelashes or eyeliner, so I'm just going to put on some mascara. Now for blush, I'm just going to do a simple contour using Giselle's Gold Member. It's just this um, very pretty blush here. And I'm going to take this really pretty color from OCC. It's a lip tar. And I'm going to go over it with a very inexpensive uh, color from Jordana called Carmelo. Okay, so there you have it. That is the very simple um, look from Rihanna for the new video. But if you want to add that gold stuff, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can achieve that metallic -y goldness that she was wearing. Okay, guys, so for those of you trying to recreate something that is similar to Rihanna's gold look in the video at the end where she's got the, the crosses and the um, dollar signs, which is a very classy touch, Rihanna, by the way. A couple years back, my favorite photographer showed me a little trick with this stuff. And this is just a bag of like gold flakes that you can get from a craft store. Um, it is not something that's functional. Obviously, this it, this looks insane. It looks like really crazy and weird. And it, it photographs really, really beautifully, though. I'll post a picture of me using this product in a photo shoot so you guys can see what it looks like on camera. For the photo shoots that I have used this stuff in, we'll, like, smear it on with um, Vaseline, but I didn't have any Vaseline. So... That kind of takes away from the look because it lays it down flat and really makes it look cool. But I didn't have Vaseline, my bad. It is cool looking though. Yeah, so for those of you who want to take this and run with it, again, I showed you the picture. You could see that it really can look really cool. Just something different. So yeah, for those of you who want a detailed list of all of the products that I've used, you can always go to BeatFaceHoney.com in the blog section. And um, also, I hope you're following me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. There's always links down below in the information box to where you can find all of those links. And I hope I'll see you right back here very soon. Thanks. Bye.